Today we're out here looking at a fine shooting six gun from Taylor's and Company. Taylor's and Company has been uh, importing uh, 19th century mostly replica firearms for about three decades now. They do a real good job. They work with Uberti, Petrosoli, Pieta, others on it. This one is made by Uberti in Italy. They did a real fine job on the fit and finish of this. In fact, the grips on this thing are fitted as well as any I've seen on a handgun in a long time. They're a walnut, they got checkered on them, and they're thin. They're not real fat grips. They're thin, so it makes it feel better in my hand, makes it point better for me. Uh, it's got a five and a half inch barrel, uh, case colored frame, blue to other parts on it. Uh, this one has a tuned action. <clears throat> now you can get, this is called a smoke wagon. You can get it with or without the tuned action. Uh, it's, uh, the gun sells for 565 MSRP uh, with the standard action and $711 for the tuned action. And it's well worth that extra money to get what they do for this. You got a custom springs in here, and they really slick up the action on it. Make sure we're unloading. But it's uh, just a real fine action on here. Easy to cock. A trigger pull on it's right at two pounds. They spec three, but this one was used some before I got it, before it come to me, and it uh, comes in right at two pounds. Makes it really easy to shoot and get the accuracy out of this thing that that uh, it deserves. Also has a good uh, has a wider notch on the rear sight than uh, normally on a Colt single action replica, and it just makes it easier to see that front sight. At least for me, it does. Ejection on this thing was smooth, perfect. Had no problems ejecting anything. Timing is real well on it. Worked really well. Had a little when I first got it, it was a little dry inside, and it would uh, hang up a little bit if I cocked it real fast. But put a little lube on that extractor star on the cylinder star. And it worked really well on that. Uh, loading gate, you flip it open, of course, to load this thing, put it to half cock, and turn this and load it. Now, uh, it does have the two step uh, base pin on here where if you want to, you can half cock that action, push this base pin back to another notch, and that'll prevent this hammer from contacting uh, the primer. The firing pin will not hit the primer with that base pin locked in the rear position. I prefer to leave it in the uh, the first position normal and carry it like you're supposed to carry a coke single action type revolver. You carry it with a hammer down on an empty chamber. To get that way, to load it, open the loading gate, put it on half cock, load one, skip one, load the next four, close it. Then when you pull it all the way back and let it down, you'll be on an empty chamber. Just keep it empty under that firing pin. Then if it drops on the hammer, it can't fire. It's got the traditional coke style hammer, uh, firing pin on the hammer. Uh, got the, it floats in there. It's supposed to wiggle a little bit. Don't let that worry. That's the way they're supposed to do. Uh, reliability was 100% on this. Everything fired easily. Everything ejected easily. I didn't use sissy logs on this. I used uh, two main logs I used on this. is a 255 grain Keith bullet, uh, which is a cast leg semi wad cutter as loaded by Buffalo Born Double Tap. They give you your money's worth on it, so you got real full 45 Colt power coming out of this. It's not any Sissy little cowboy action type loads they use for games and stuff. This is a good load for self-defense or for hunting. Anything like that you want to do, they're good loads. And uh, uh, we shot them. Both of them was really accurate out of this revolver. We'll show you some pictures of the accuracy on it at 25 yards. Uh, the uh, double tap grouped every time under two inches. And the buffalo boar would do about half that, being right under an inch at 25 yards off the bench. That's not me just... Just standing up holding it like a grown man. I had it resting on a Target Shooting Incorporated uh, handgun rest so I could get to really see where it was that bullet was going to go when I got ready to drop the hammer on it. Nice smooth action. Uh, works really well. It's a Colt replica. It's a good quality Colt replica at less than half the price of a Colt, a genuine Colt. And a Colt, you can't hardly get them. You know, they got about a two year wait now on their uh, single action armies, but this will give you. For $565 or a little more for the tuned action, you get a fine quality, fine shooting revolver at a great price. Available from Taylors and Company. I was shooting that double tap 255 grain semi wide carter load on here. Pushes out of here at right under 900 feet per second out of this uh, five and a half inch barrel. They're going right where I want them to. It shoots the point of aim right there. The buffalo bore ones do too. Now if you're shooting a slower bullet or a heavier bullet, it's probably going to shoot a little high 
at the 25 yards for you, but this one is right on for me. Uh, shooting this, uh, these faster bullets, they don't uh, they don't shoot as high as a slower bullet because they get out of the barrel quicker before recoil affects it. But they shoot real good. They put them right where I want them to, right here on our Cro Magnum target. show you this nice rig here from uh, Baranti Leather. Uh, Mike Baranti makes some excellent uh, leather products. It's nice and thick. This thing's about a quarter inch thick, the belt on here, so your holster's not going to sag on it. It's a good way to carry a single action like this. I love the, the way this design with the strap on it holds that gun in and, and it's not going to let it fall out. Not going to let that hammer cock if you're walking through the woods and catch it on something. It's a real quality line holster rig available from Baranti Leather. Another thing I really like about this Brandy rig, and I've ordered rigs from different places before, and I asked them to put the cartridges on the right side. I'm left-handed, so I like to keep those cartridges on my right where I can just reach down and grab them to load up. Most people put them on the back. They're hard to reach back there, and I like them on the right where I can reach immediately down on my side and get them. Brandy done it just like I want them to, and uh, it's a really nice quality rig, so check them out at Brandy Leather. This time I'm shooting the Buffalo Bore Load. It's a 255 grain cast leg semi wad cutter, just like the double tap load. But it's coming out of here, this five and a half inch barrel, at about 968 feet per second. It's a little bit stiffer load, but it's a good, effective load still. This gun handles recoil really well. No problem at all on stuff like that. Turned on us, didn't it? 